Hey everybody, CK here and I am coming to you guys with another video and this video, I'm not going to say I'm excited this time even though I am, but this video I have been trying to film for you guys for over a month, like no kidding. This is my purple lipstick collection. Now disclaimer, it is not all of my purple lipsticks because all of the stuff that I recently purchased, I'm not even going to put those in here. So I'm not going to show them all because this video is for the sole purpose of me sharing with you you guys as I attempt to declutter my lipstick collection because that is like the biggest collection I have because like I'm a total lipstick lover and this is gonna be really really hard for me because I know that I have a large selection of purple lipsticks but I just got them because they were like pretty but now I have like a I don't know a newfound like extreme love for purple lipsticks as you can see today this is not gonna be in the collection so I'll put it in the description box what I'm wearing but this decluttering is going to be kind of hard. So I really don't know what I'm going to get rid of. So you just have to stay tuned to find out. I did a nude lipstick collection and I did a pink lipstick collection. So I still have to do corals and oranges and I don't know what else there is, but I still have some more. Oh, reds. I still have reds to do. So I'm going to get to them as soon as I can. So not only do I do this video to share with you guys my whole declutteration, my word, if there's any, but I share this video with you guys in hopes of sharing lip colors with you guys that you may be interested in trying if you have not, as well as we've been finding some dupes in my collection, so that's another thing. So without further ado, let's get into these hand swatches of these colors. So this first color I'm gonna start off with, and they are in no particular order. I have lipstick bullets, I have lip glosses, I have OCC lip tars and lip creams and all that good stuff okay so we are going to start with this color and it is by colored rain and this is what the packaging looks like and it is in the color arabian night and i'm going to tell you right now i know for a fact that this is not going anywhere and i've definitely used it as you can see and it's similar to what i have on just a little bit but that is arabian night and this is a very very unique color very very unique so the next color is Riri Boy, and I think it broke. Yeah, it's slanting in there. And I mean, I actually was gonna get rid of this anyway because this reminds me of Up The Amp, which let me find Up The Amp so we can do those together. And this Riri Boy is extremely matte. Here is Riri Boy. Very, very matte. And if I had to pick up the amp or Riri Boy, totally up the amp because up the amp is an amplified finish, which happens to be one of my favorites. And this is up the amp and we're going to swatch it next to Riri Boy. So as you can see, they are very, very similar. So I'm going to keep up the amp and I am going to discard Riri Boy. And let me also tell you guys, when I say that I'm getting rid of a color, it is not necessarily that um, I'm trying to give them away to everybody. It's either going to go to my mini-me or my friends and my family because they're always asking for some lippies. So that's what I mean when I say I'm going to get rid of it. So this is Vamp It Up by Wet n Wild and this is a dupe for Cyber by MAC. And that's what it looks like. And I do believe that this is a dupe for cyber. So what we are going to do is we are going to put cyber next to it. And I might add that I'm not getting rid of that because I love it. And then this is cyber by Mac and we're going to put it next to this one. So as you can see, they're pretty much a dupe, but Cyber is a satin finish. And of course, Vamp It Up by Wet n Wild is a mega lass and that's matte, but they are pretty much the same color, but I want them both because I really do like these colors and I do wear them both. So the next color, <laughs> whoo, this is smoke purple and this is going nowhere, you hear me? Like nowhere, but this is smoke purple by MAC and this is a matte finish and it is close to cyber but it's more on the purple side instead of that like kind of black color so there you go that right there is smoke purple the next color here is bh cosmetics vixen and this is a pretty color too we are gonna just let's just take it on over here this is vixen i'm not gonna get rid of that because i really like that the next color is Brazen Berry by Maybelline, I believe it is. And this is what that looks like right there. And this is what it swatches like. There you go. 
And I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't ever recall reaching for this color and it's kind of glossy. So the next color is pure heroin. And I hope that I'm saying that right because every time I say pure heroin, people talk about me. So pure heroin. And this is a amplified finish. And I really doubt that I get rid of that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it's amplified, which is one of my favorite finishes. So that is pure heroin. And that is going nowhere. That is going nowhere. The next color is Smashbox and it is in the color vivid violet and this was gifted to me so yeah i'm not giving that away but that is what that color looks like right there and the next color is heroin by mac now i am gonna swatch that next to another color because i know that i have a dupe for this for all my dupe lovers out there but this is heroin by mac and that is a matte color and this is like a truly coveted color like everyone wants heroin in their life by mac and i have a dupe for it which is kat von d's everlasting liquid lipstick in the color love which is spelled l-u-v and i'm going to put it right next to it so you guys can see it so there you go and once it dries down they really really look like a dupe i've actually posted this dupe on my instagram mm -hmm. before so the next color is Taboo by Iman. And this is another lipstick that people were really looking for. Matter of fact, I don't even know if they're still in the drugstore because I haven't even seen any. So I did one in a giveaway too, you guys, like a few months back. But this is the color Taboo and it is an awesome pigmented color. Awesome. Like look at that purple. Like how amazing is that purple? The next color is a Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick. And I've never even worn this and I've had them for a while. I was supposed to do swatches on the colors I have, but I haven't done that yet. So if you guys are still interested in seeing swatches on them, let me know because I'm in a swatching mood today and I'm talking about lip swatches. So this is Ruby Kisses Purple Affair. Oh, this is extremely matte. Now people were telling me that these are kind of creamy. These are matte, like it's even hard to swatch for me. But that is Purple Affair by Ruby Kisses. So the next color is Lavender Voltage by Maybelline. And that's a pretty color. It kind of looks like heroin to me. Now that's heroin, that's love, and this is Lavender Voltage. So I think what I am going to do is I'm gonna get rid of this Maybelline Lavender Voltage because it looks like both of those and I don't think that I ever really reach for this too much. And this baby right here, I remember when the search was on for this one too. They're permanent now, but oh my gosh, when these first came out, like everybody was looking for these also. And it is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And this is in the color Shameless. And I like it because even though it is a matte balm, let me show you right there. Even though it's a matte balm, it is very like moisturizing and it's very pigmented. And so I usually carry this in my little makeup bag. I just recently took it out. So I'm going to keep it because like it's a great one. Great, great, great one. Drugstore too. The next color is Strong Woman by MAC. Now, I believe this is limited edition and it is a matte color. Now, a lot of people thought that this color was a dupe for heroin, but it definitely is not. As you guys can see, it's way down there. Close, but like no cigar. So there is Strong Woman and it is such a pretty color. And the name is such an awesome name that this baby's staying here. This next lipstick is Gunner. Uh, this is Gunner by MAC. That is the lipstick that they said this Ruby Kisses was a dupe for. So I think I'm going to swatch it by this Ruby Kisses. It is a matte and people were telling me that it's a dupe. So let's find out. I don't think so. What do you guys think? It's very, very close. It's the closest that I've seen yet, you guys. And I will be doing a giveaway on this lipstick because I did purchase two of them. And you know why? Because sharing is caring. I'm sorry, hashtag sharing is caring. So I will be doing a giveaway on that one soon. And this color is Daddy's Little Girl. And this is from the Archie's Girl collection with MAC. And of course, that's a limited edition collection. And this is a satin lipstick. And let's go up here. 
this is a unique color as well i haven't been able to find any that looks similar to this and this is daddy's little girl and this is freaking gorgeous the next one is viva glam nikki 2 and this is a amplified lipstick this is kind of like a milky purple okay it's like a pastel color and it's so pretty and it's really unique so i know you guys are like who in the world is rocking that lipstick i am don't be scared i've actually worn it before you guys i have done it in a tutorial i think i've actually worn it in a tutorial and the tutorial is over a year old and don't fret it still smells good let me do a test it still smells like vanilla it doesn't have any mold or anything on it it looks great so yeah i'm definitely gonna keep this one this next color is rebel and i'm definitely keeping this because i recently added this to my collection because almost every mac lipstick collection video i could find or anything on instagram always had rebel in it so i just had to add it to my collection because it was such a pretty color so where are we gonna swatch it i don't know let's try right here so this is Rebel. And another dupe for this color is Wet n Wild Plum Fairy. I think it is Sugar Plum Fairy. I think I gave it away. All right, so round two. This lipstick right here is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it is in the color Transylvania. I love this lip color, but the one thing about it is it's not as opaque as I was anticipating, but it's definitely pretty. So you see that? Even the swatch, you have to kind of swatch a couple of times. So you see how that swatch is on there? That's exactly how it does on the lips. So you got to kind of put it on and then you got to let it dry because it is a matte and then you have to go over it again. But I am going to keep it because I just got it like a few months ago and it's hard to find so this right here this color is dose of colors and it is called toxic and it is a lip gloss but the reason that i got this lip gloss is because it is a very opaque and pigmented lip gloss see that and it's gorgeous so the next lipstick i have is l'oreal lilac color riche lipstick and this color is in lacquerized and um i was just crazy about it i think i did a tutorial on this too when i first got the chocolate bar palette i talked about this lip color and that swatch is like really crazy but this is a very very pretty color it's it's gorgeous on so i'm gonna keep that okay and this one is a butter lipstick by nyx and their butter lipsticks are awesome because they are very very moisturizing and pigmented and this color is in the color licorice and it's just so pretty and i just want to keep it because it's gorgeous see that Ooh, and these are fairly new too, like a few months and I just I love Magnolia makeup lipstick so this one is a Magnolia makeup velour galore lipstick and I do believe that yeah I did lip swatches on these so I'll put them below if I have it and this color is in get it girl get it get it girl and they are matte now they do transfer they're not non-transferable so it's gonna come off on your cup this right here, if you touch your lip after you put it on, it will come off, but it will stay all day. And I don't know how it does that. Like I can drink from a cup and I'll see it on the cup, but it's still on my lip. Like it's not even disturbed at all. So these are really gorgeous. And that is in Get It Girl. And since we're talking about that one, let's bust out this other one that, oh, I love it. It is in Midnight Violet and it is along the lines of like a blue purple. And people think I have on blue lipstick if I'm far away. And this is the color and oh my gosh, I love this color. So the next lipstick is a lip lacquer by Ruby Kisses and it is in the color Purple Berry and it is super glossy. And that is what that looks like. It actually reminds me of Dose of Colors Toxic. Look at that. You got that right there and then you have this one. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to keep the dose of colors. But if I happen to run out of the dose of colors or it becomes stale, I can always go to the beauty supply and pick up this Ruby Kisses lip lacquer for $2.99 or $3.49 or something like that. The next color is Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color and it is in the color Violet Addict. And that kind of looks like the lilac actually. The next color I have is a glazed lip paint by LA Girl and this is in the color Koi. And I've done lip swatches on these too. Now I'm going to tell you this right here it is a pretty color but you see like how messy that is oh my goodness. It's so gorgeous and beautiful and I think I'm going to hold on to it for now. So this color is in, I think this is Hoochie. Yeah, it's Hoochie. 
but that color is hoochie now this is a well-known color by OCC and this is jcat wonder lip paint matte splatter it's really pretty and it has like a little iridescent color to it and i did wear like underneath a really really matte lipstick but i think i'm gonna get rid of this color because i'm not like super duper into iridescent okay so the next color it is a jcat wonder lip paint as well and like i said it's kind of like the occ where you got to move it around a little bit and this is in the color chess desire cat Let's just swatch it like that. Really pretty. I think I'm going to hold on to this one because you guys know whenever I do clients, I love to have like my OCC lip tars or the Wonder Lip Paints because they're great for mixing and they're great because they are extremely sanitary and they're great to travel with you. So this one is another OCC lip tar and this is in the color Roller Girl. And OCC lip tars, they actually dry to like a semi matte. It's not like an ultra matte, but it's like a semi matte. And that's one reason why I want to keep these. And like I said, I travel with them whenever I do clients. And also, let me just um, tell you guys something real quick. A lot of people ask me if I would do like a makeup kit video or show them me doing clients and different things like that. I do not do clients very frequently. I used to do makeup more frequently than I have been, but lately I've been really busy with events and I've been busy like filming and getting videos out to you guys, which I absolutely love. And then I work like Monday through Friday. So I have not been doing clients like I used to, but um, I don't know if it's like a wedding and we know in advance and we have a little contract, I don't mind doing it. But if it's like, oh, I need my makeup done tomorrow, then more than likely, I haven't been doing that all right so the next and the final color that i'm going to show in this video is another glazed lip paint by la girl and this is i can't even read the color right now so i'm gonna have to look that color up for you it's their deepest color that they have look at that it swatches nothing like it looks like it looks dark in this tube but when you swatch that baby you get something that you didn't think you were gonna get or look at that oh my goodness i need to rock that i need to leave that out Look at that color. That is just awesome. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Oh, I forgot to show you guys what I'm getting rid of. So, um, wah, wah, wah. It's only five lipsticks. That's it. But then when your next month come and the month thereafter, they just send you the vial, which looks like this, right? Isn't that a lot of product? It's like eight milliliters of product, I think they said it is. 